Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First mate Rick here, at your service. <laughs> For love of... <laughs> Timing. And welcome back to Rayman 3, where we'll be loading in where we left off in just a second. Like, give me a moment here. There we go. Close the door. I really should just get... I really should just get a load of sound isolation foam just cover that thing in like four inches thick or something. I don't know. You should get that and replace the door. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, something I just noticed during the pre-stream. Uh, up in the upper right. Special news flash. A hoodlum has succeeded in counting up to four. Uh, and hey, I also thought you were to mention something unusual on your save here. Uh, nope. You so, actually there is something unusual. It says Wednesday, September. Yeah. This is probably the only game I've seen that actually borders to rock it like that. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I managed to get the controller working, so let's see. Wait, what? I don't think I want to know even. What the heck did he say? I don't know, but... Okay. Jump, shoot... Uh, that is dodge? Okay, I didn't even know we had a dodge. Okay. Is any of these going to lock on? There we go. Okay, this will make act this will make the lock on system actually a, a lot more useful. The the reason I'm going quiet now is because I'm currently pushing left on the on the le on the right stick, and it's sending the camera in the opposite direction. Oh, no. Anyways, new enemy types. These little flyers. Constantly shoot. And I'm not sure if we've seen the military boy up here before. And yeah, he just shoots a special shot. <laughs> there we go. Oop, oh, another one Wait. of you. Yep. Why are you calling him military boy? Yeah, the, the one with the beret, like these two up there. They're freaking. Oh, I did, I did not know that I raised. <laughs> I thought it would take it out, but no. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, F3, options. Can I invert? Let's see, vertical. Uh, there, I'm swapping between the yeah okay okay horizontal is still inverted let's see no not horizontal vertical good what the no, heck still inverted what the yeah uh, never mind okay, let's that's just deal weird. with these. And also, i saw a lot of weird Flash news thingy on the corner, something about Rayman's torso and Murcher. I got very confused. But special news flash, uh, it's the same one as before. Uh, let's see. T tasted, whatever that is, is guaranteed 100% fruit free plum juice. <laughs> okay, not sure what might cause that to change, but. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to deal with the fact that this is still inverted. Uh. But uh, whose idea was inverted? And uh, why is that still a thing? Uh, might be because of uh, flight controls in, in well, flight games tend to do that. And this little shit is destroying the balloons in front of us. Yeah, still... I feel like, like I hear people always complain about inverted controls 
am question but it's still a thing. Yeah. I, I guess it's gotten to the point where it's considered a sta an industry standard, even though it shouldn't be. But yeah. Yay. Uh. I need to go alphabetize my sausages. What? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Um. <laughs> he sounded excited to do it. Uh, I wouldn't say that. my sarcasm. Uh, yeah. Uh, what did you say? He accidentally uh, dropped you. Yeah, that, that he didn't sound <laughs> enthusiastic about that at all. Uh. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's, that just was so random. Uh, yeah, we heard him say silly things before, but... They were just playing as that... weird. Yeah. Yeah! Just weirdly random. Yeah, they say random sh stuff, but that was really ran random for randomness. There was even more red yellow glow box teleporting in. Andre. But to a degree, I can't blame him because he's stuck in freaking glow box. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I, 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 actually, I, I actually been worried since the first episode that he would try to see him move himself out of there. Uh, luckily, no. And the artist for this tried. one was just showing off. Oh dear God! Oh hello! Oh you! I remember. I remember this enemy type. What did? What the heck did I just witness? Yeah, it just pulls up its <laughs> its hoods and lets out one of those little jackasses. Oh, and lifting up the skirt, uh, the, the robo skirt thing. Are they? Now, I, I don't think the hoodlums have genders. Yeah, but it is definitely giving a confused message that you at first will think that there is somebody else giving birth to someone to attack you. Hmm. Okay, I forget, completely forget how to actually deal with these things. Like, if we try to curve shots... It, oh, there we go. Maybe we were too far away or something. Hmm. Maybe we need to be at the edge. We got a hit in, but that was... There we go. Okay, so charge a shot that way. Nope. Hmm. And we have to deal with the little shits as well. Yeah, this is this is just a really annoying enemy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. As much as I did like this game, I will fully agree that I've likely been had been wearing quite the nostalgia glasses uh, with it. Help. Again, not yeah, to say that this is a bad game, but it does not compare to the previous one. Yeah, and when you're a kid, you don't think if it's... Then my game kids don't know if it's a bad or not, unless it's extremely bad. Yeah. Okay. But many games they just we will just play and think, oh, maybe I'm I'm bad at it. Want to realize when they're grown up, no, they must pull a design game. Hmm. And this Ooh. is might uh, be my favorite track in the game. <laughs> this is the Hoodoo Sorcerer. If he wants to show up again, but he does. Oh, there he is. He gives, yeah, 
they give uh, other hoodlums a shield. Oh no. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure at least at one point we're going to run into two of them that will shield each other. Another hoodoo bomber. Oh, come on. You just spawned it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that hoodlum just spawned right on top of us there. That was annoying. Oh, hello. Okay, now we use this deal with them and there we go and whilst we have this might as well <laughs> come on that was totally not what I was aiming for what the heck is it, it it locked onto the piggy bank uh, let's see that's where we came in yeah, so I don't believe you, Hillian. You're a pirate, after all. How do you expect me to not think you went for the piggy bank? Yeah, the fact that I was getting shot at. Here we go again. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. Why the hell are those swinging so much? <laughs> Is that supposed to imply that it's windy here or something? You could have added that with me sound. Or well, at least with the plants. And sound. Hmm. Oh well, and uh, where did the glow, glow box go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay. Also, some, something that is annoying me a bit uh, since we've st uh, started streaming this is we don't actually get any sort of explanation how the hell the hoodlums have been able to build all of this stuff so quickly in the short amount of time that they've been active. Like the pirates were... Well, the robot pirates, it was implied that they were already active for quite a while since, well, they captured literally thousands of slaves. At the hoodlums, uh, from all we know, uh, they just appeared in the same, <laughs> the same time that we started here with this game. But somehow they've managed to set up bases all over the place. Yeah, the, the, these are all rather makeshift bases, like a, a, quick little bit palisades. Yeah, true. They, it, so far, it's just if they pick a spot where they know they can build it quickly and easily, I just do it, and if there's a ruin like this. The better, since just something they don't need to be the themselves. Oh. Um. And really needs to go to bloody Alcoholics Inter Anonymous or something. Or Plumaholics Anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Uh you know what? I would not be surprised if you can make alcohol from plums. Yeah, you could basically make... Well, as long as it can ferment, it can be made into alcohol, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I can really beat the pity bull for a thing I said before. If you have apple trees in your garden, you live in a country where you have moose. Help. Make sure the moose don't get to you apple trees, for they will get drunk on the apples. But yeah. the apples will be... Fermented in their bellies. And well, then you have a, a multi ton creature that is drunk in your backyard. Yeah. And they. The, normally we avoid people, unless they defend the, the young. But when drunk, either we run or they will attack you. Or they run at first. And if you. As in this case, some tourists. We're doing chasing a drunken moose without realizing it was strong and it could at any moment just decide to turn around and snap them like twigs. Yeah. <laughs> I had to shout at them and only, I think only half of them stopped and listened to what I had to say for 
Probably Mulbus have them understood Swedish for. Wait, what? A, he had to go to an appointment with his psychic. Yeah, I heard I just... what does a what does a ghost need with a psychic? No. Unless uh, ghost psychics are how the dead communicate with living psychics or something. Yes, what the heck? Uh, anyway, yeah. I think what it, either half the tourists ignored me, or only half they understood me for whatever. Yeah, there, there were Germans, so only, uh, which I met before. Some of them speak Swedish and did not. But uh, once the, uh, I informed the parents about it, then, yeah, I, along with another German, uh, German friend of mine, informed the parents. They, yeah, the parents were not happy. Yeah, in general, avoid anything that has antlers, because those are meant for something. They aren't there just for decoration. Yeah, and. But uh, I don't think I've ever heard stairs. so much about Germans and Moose of uh, recent years for... Was what, Germans really love Mooses, but Moose was smart enough to leave the actual animals alone. Okay, mate. Let's see. But yeah, the world was nice, just... Yeah, these kids were not the brightest. Our world for you. What? Okay. He was talking about others being held cap, other teensy ghosts being held captive somewhere. That's more. I think Axel took the over and, and landed on a weird line where we open up a new world for him. Yep, or their world. Oh, Don't... okay. I'm pretty sure if we put up a, if if we put down a barrel of vinegar that Andre would run for it as well. And I can hear Yep <laughs> Glow Box being <laughs> uh. What the I... For some reason the truck is the, for some reason the plum truck is sped up. I actually saw the myself wonder what with the developers on the plums? Yeah, I think it's probably just an, an in joke or just to reuse or to bring back the plums again, but because well the plums have been in the game in the series since the first one, so they they have to give them some uh, function again, I guess. Yeah, uh, actually I'm proud of her keeping the odd state of the plum consistent. For it really haven't deviated too much for its very first design. And ironically, I say that they kept it in the from the first game, but I don't I'm not actually sure if the if the plums show up in Origins and Legends. And that's a health extension. That'd be a surprise for me if they did not appear there. Okay. There we go. And there was one of those chatty bogs up there somewhere, but we have no real interest in the points, even though I keep running off to collect them. There we go. Yeah, let's get to that doctor. There we go. Here they are freaking again. <laughs> okay, so the idiots can hit themselves. Well, it, it, it is heavily implied that they are a bunch of idiots. Let's get you first, since you're out in the open. Yeah, the, the, there's something about their design that looks familiar. They, they look like a mix of a scarecrow... The, a redneck? Uh, yeah. And uh, this I one has a new design. Station. Oh, yeah. So, oh. 
Oh. Yeah. I just I realized think... something. I... Sorry, go on. Uh, I, I'm guessing your realization when it has something to do with a certain organization that uh, has a three a, a three letter abbreviation. Actually, yes. Yeah. And that made me suddenly worry and pray we don't encounter someone that looks too similar like those. No, I don't think we do. Good for. The only time I would accept that in a game is if there's all supposed to be villains or it's supposed to be the Spanish Inquisition. This, yeah, that's how the organizer ripped off. Go, let's do. No, not. Oh, yeah. With the hoodoos, all we have to do to get rid of them is to get them to trigger to shield something. And then we hit them instead. I need to investigate what's different between hoodoo and voodoo. I, mean, this I don't think it actually is. is. Or it's, it's more that uh, yeah, hoodoo is more used as a way to just say... Yeah, not really voodoo, but... Mm -hmm. I think vo hoodoo thing. was the more... How to say... I was sure offensively or aggressively used, but more more meant to harm. The camera. But yeah, I will I will investigate the hoodoo and voodoo, for I know there is a difference between them. Yeah, it could just as well be that uh, hoodoo is more like a colloquium, like some like something you say. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not even sure how you would say it. I think it was more it was like uh, white and black magic. Like white magic was focused on healing, but black magic was focused on uh, yeah, harming someone. And I think voodoo and voodoo were used similarly. Just problem is after a while people started to mix up. I think voodoo and voodoo was the same, but even when they were not and. Mistakes ha happen from there. Yep, you again. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't think it's that way, or at least to my recollection. Uh, I, I think uh, voodoo is both it can be used both in good and bad ways, to my uh, knowledge. And yeah, that voodoo is just. Uh, something that sprang up uh, over time uh, later. Hey, I'll be looking it up just to be sure and at least learn something. And well, it's time for this stupid thing again. <coughs> what? Teensy is on the offensive? Yep. Well, teensy ghosts more if, if accurately, but yeah. And here we go again with this. Only problem is now we have a much more linear and larger area to... I'd say play in, but I wouldn't call this play. I would just call this freaking... Yeah, frustration. Ugh, so where is the thing? Uh, this was a mistake. Is, is it not even here? Where did it... F oh no. It fucked off over this way. Uh, okay, where is it? Yeah, now we can just get... Actually, I don't think we can lose it because it, we can't go up... Think, there it is. We can't go up ledges, but we can't go. Uh, we can go upstairs. But it should be trapped here, I think. Unless I'm really, yeah, we should be trapped here. There it is. Yes. <clears throat> okay, where did it go? At least we have some decent music to it. There, you fucker. 
You're already getting really pissed, I hear. That's not a good sign. Yeah, it's more from what? the expectation that just it's going to take a long time to get this stupid thing. It's because of how inaccurate the controls are. And when uh, you can get yourself stuck in a corner like that for a good bit. Where is it? I guess it? you didn't hear that, Hillian. Hmm? At least I hope I heard wrong of the soundtrack. Yeah, uh, what then? I... Motherfucker. I heard a woman's mo moan. I'm... Motherfucker. There it was again. I think that's more supposed to be spectral moaning or something. Yeah, I ever thought that the first one wanted to moan your son a little bit. Um, that's wrong kind of moan for spo spokes. Uh, spokes. Ghost. <laughs> but... I think I, I'm almost. Uh. I think I was about to, about to say. Spurk, yeah? But I ended up turning the uh into an o. Which became spoke. Spoke. Mm. Here. Yeah. I, 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 I hope tempted to see. Once this game is finished, I'm gonna probably look up a review of this game. How the fuck? Uh. The, con the controls for this are just complete bullshit. Yes, I get the fact that you want it to go keep going forward, but uh, make, let me fucking turn without having to bump into a wall constantly. I get that this is supposed to be freaking go-karts, but you have even go-kart, you know, bumper cars, even bumper cars are more controllable than this. Way more control than this. And again, this that stupid thing just turns so much freaking better than us. So if the AI wanted to, we, it could just run freaking circles around us and keep us stuck here. Okay, where did I'm it gonna be surprised if people have horrible memories just because of this mini game. And let's be honest. There may have been many kids who got stuck and quit Rayman because of these levels. The fuck did it come from oh, there? It games. just spawned in the middle of the... Uh, I say this, uh, it would be more fair if you only needed to hit it once. Yeah, or have some way to have it be tracked so you know at all times where the belly thing is. Yeah, or, or at least be able to shoot it. But no, you need to tackle it. Come on. You yeah, see, it just dead stops and turns. Come. Where did it go? There it go. It, it just, it's just completely unfair that the stupid thing can turn on a dime and we can't. And it feels like it's f almost faster than you or something. Uh, it got a speed boost when we bumped it earlier. What fucker. The feeling it would completely dodge just like that. Okay, it, no, it got unstuck. There we go, that was a lucky shot. And yeah, it, could, it gets a massive speed boost when it gets hit. Only because to make it harder. Where did it go this time? There it is. Yeah, I'm, it is. I'm agreeing more and more that to people that this game is just not, not compare at all to Rayman 2. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, uh, just hearing from your voice, 
there's enough how bad this this mini game alone in is harming the game. There you want to get here, you. The, the, the other things we've been here seeing of the game have been tolerable and not that bad, but this. Yo. This is unacceptable. Oh, it got stuck. Let me turn. Is it still there? Let me turn. Oh, and of course, the moment we get close, it gets unstuck. Uh. And we only need one more hit, or it's going to be two down. More, I, I think mean, we're going to need another two more. Oh, for love of! At this point, I'm just, I'm just going to run circles and try and hit it on the stairs. Oh, there we go, that basically offered itself up there. Oh, I see you. Are you f ah. One more hit. Seriously? Oh, for love of. And like I guess, the damage you do per hit depends in what angle or how hard you bump into it. Mm, I think it mostly just depends on if we're charging or not. I thought I could intercept it there. Did yeah, it in some games that were had some of this mirror like this, there we go. You were able to intercept them somewhat, but it's extremely hard to intercept this this one. Wait, we didn't we didn't even get anything for that? Did we even yeah. get anything for the last one? Yeah, we got yeah, we got passage uh, through to the next area because it gave us the uh, the green upgrades. Yeah. Mm. Again. Horrible Sorry. design, and this one did not even give you a reward for your yeah, trouble. Go. And another new enemy. Yeah, it, it's another heavy armored Goodlum. Um, you mean hoodlum? Yeah. You said goodlum. <laughs> uh, didn't we have? Wasn't there? Uh, there it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure this one is required for dealing with this one. Glow box, get out of the way. No, even that's bouncing off. Okay. Okay, so a charge attack from this gets the armor up. Yeah, okay, almost, I think. Come on. No, still more. Shut up, Glowbox. Oh, wait, that is its health bar below. <laughs> yeah, this is not an interesting boss fight. It's a boss fight, oh, for love of. There you go. Oh, dear. I still like the design of that outfit. I could barely enjoy it too, too. If they were within close enough view, you, my screen decided to get pixelated. Okay. I think we are close to. 
I think we are close to the second doctor, though. <laughs> Pray, man, decide which dimension you want to exist in. No comments. What? A drink. <laughs> and off he goes with his pee balloon. Hi, Rayman. What's up down there? Can't you fly? Like everyone else? Unidentified flying objects from a galaxy far, far away submit to my power, I mean. Okay, I will still admit that most of the dialogue is at least entertaining. Yeah, some of them entertain, but some of them I just... You just have to look at them and go... What? Yeah. Again, I think I said it's been interesting. The dialogue feels very hit and miss in this one. Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, the swimming has been simplified quite a bit. It's just point somewhere and go and uh, yeah that biggest thing that we saw here it is again now this is a boss there we go. okay with with the a button we can do a somersault and okay the little ow ow let's get Let's not get stuck. Okay. What we have to do is to lure these into there. Then avoid when it shoots back and just repeat until it's gone. There we go. Simple but effective fair enough, I'd say. And well, it's a lot more interesting than Plunger Boy <laughs> before. And every more interesting than the nope. shoe cart. It might just be a bit. It might be a bit too easy to actually dodge all of that, though. But yeah, if, if they made this into 3D swimming, it would have been really difficult to dodge all of that. So yeah, a simplification. But uh, one that was probably for the best. Yeah, especially with uh, how frustrated you were with the shoe cart. Yeah. Also, how the hell did they get this built? Perhaps. Like, actually, I would not be surprised if they stole some of the pa robot pirates' uh, things and made some scrap robots, as we say here. That yeah, could have been, yeah. Or, let's be honest, this doesn't look... Uh, it, um, yeah, it doesn't fully fit, it doesn't really fit in with their patch punk aesthetic. I, I would say more, I must say more, it doesn't really look professionally built. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing they've built can, could be considered any type of professional. I guess they're more. I guess you could call it scrap mechanics. Uh, for this one, yeah. But basically, everything of the hoodlums looks like a failed DIY project. Hey. Actually, yeah, I think I agree with you now. Now remember, DIY was a do-it-yourself thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, now, which is actually the way out here? Uh, as a, I hope the other Rayman games are better than this one. They definitely are. Now, is this the way Good. forward or back? This looks the way forward because of the current. Uh, yeah, still, all, despite all of my, you know, despite my building complaints about this game, the music is still very good. 
And the general aesthetics of everything as well. It's just that, well, the gameplay and... Uh, Uh, I do, there yeah. are still things, things I quite like about this game. Yeah, it, it might be not the best one, but it's not a total disaster. The only thing almost making a total disaster would make a total disaster if you had more of those shoe cut games. Yeah. yeah. From that last one, I will give that it seems that that one was totally optional. If I had known that, I would have avoided it like the Black Plague. And yeah, yeah but the question you is, just have a little shooting gallery. If it was supposed to be optional, at least give us a reward for doing it. If they thought, oh, we put it here as an optional thing for those that enjoy it. Yeah, I guess they primarily they... may put it there as a way to send you back in quickly, but yeah. I think we. I think it would have been faster if we'd gone. Uh, if we just walked the whole way. Yeah. And here oh we are boy. at the second doctor. Ah uh, no 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 way! I'm going back there. Nope, that doctor gave me the creeps. Uh, Raven, wait up! <laughs> uh, looked a bit odd. Dude, still in bed? Well, must have been a late night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My colleague explained everything. <laughs> wow, seems like you swallowed a black lump. Major mm. bummer. <laughs> you see, black lumps reproduce like some kind of mm. crazy weed. <laughs> They're really wacky. <laughs> Let's see if we can, mm. uh, you know hook you up with something to take the pain away, huh? How's that sound? <laughs> Hold on a sec here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. can be done the black lum has like totally lodged himself in your brain see and the problem is i can't find it but i know a guy who can help you he's like a specialist in like hollow cavities and he lives in the desert of the canarin well gotta go need to go water my plants i think we can guess what kind of plants Using Globox as a freaking steel drum. What the heck? Uh, yeah, uh, freaking drop away platforms. Yeah, they really should. If they were to re release this game, one thing remove the bloody shoe uh, things and remove the drop away pl uh, platforms or make them more obvious. There's literally nothing separating them to that I can see. Yeah. Bloody heck. Uh. Nope. Mm. Don't tell me we're going to get stuck over here already. Uh. But yeah. At, at, I think the... Uh, that was a close one. The, uh, the, yeah, the cutscene there should have been a higher quality than before, because uh, apparently the, uh, the, the cutscenes in the PC port are very uh, condensed down, so I, I downloaded the PlayStation 2 cutscenes instead and overwrote the, uh, well, I overwrote the files, so it should be playing those, which should be a lot less compression. Okay. Seriously, come. 
Yeah, they would when... need to. I think they need to balance this as well. Yeah, if they just remove the falling platforms, that would solve this issue completely. There we go. We just have to hop the instant we get on one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you wanna know what is it's almost a bit comical? Hmm? I'm not the one playing this, but yet even I feel the frustration. Yeah. From just seeing this madness. Mm. Screw that. There, there's been uh, sorry, go on. No, dodging those raw platforms there. But yeah, uh, there, there's been time I feel like, okay, look at you, don't feel like, uh, okay, there, okay, there's a trick, but not, but he, it's doable, or that, or it's not that tall, but he will figure out soon. But then there are those YouTubers that play that game, I can see it, all just go on the SSA. Yeah, that's a horrible design, you should not be needed to struggle that hard. But that is not your fault. Okay, it, it looked like we accidentally did a hop there or something. I, I, I didn't even have my finger close to the button or anything. It, no, come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm mostly just jumping through the end of the auto jump at the end of each platform now. Okay. There, there. Yeah, they, they, sh they should have had one in the middle there. There. At least the appearing ones don't this here fall apart. And we can guess where they are from the, the gems. There we go. I think we've passed the most frustrating parts. And the, the visuals are still nice, if <laughs> a bit of a trip. Yeah, I do, I do feel... I, I do like the visual order, but some of it does feel a little bit... Who are over the place? There we go. Oh, yep. Yeah. Just trying to keep track of where the track is going to be. So they aren't exactly see-through when you're up high. Yeah, but after this stream, I think I'll look up some uh, some video reviews on YouTube of this game as well to see what the general consensus is. Yeah, uh, I was thinking to do it after. End, I like, uh, I was thinking to do it after we finish the game, but I'm a half tempted already to do it after this stream as well. Okay, and there's the end. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the level score isn't actually the maximum amount of points that you can get in a place, but a certain score you're expected to get. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a change. <laughs> Welcome to the Desert of the Canaran. Um... Looks more uh, like it's more than just a desert. Yeah. Dog footage, bird sound. Another one. A third uh, one. <laughs> also, I saw somewhere that those the, the the ones with the punching bag sticks that pop up just they're supposed to be. Oop. I think they were supposed to be called Punk Answered Cardoulos or something. Or something dumb. Apparently there is... Apparently each enemy has, like, multiple names that they can reference with. Okay. Andre, you seriously need to see someone about your addiction and... Oh, hello. No, we can guess what he's going to do now. Uh -huh. 
And I don't... I hope the water is... I don't remember that the water looks like this normally, so I hope this isn't going to cause anyone issues with how quickly that is moving. Yeah, that looks like a concern. You, yeah. you know what, Hilliard? You should definitely put up a warning sign when you put this up as a video on YouTube. Yeah. Or just... Maybe put a filter over this as well. It isn't... It it, we've seen a lot worse. We've seen worse in Technomage. But it still might be uh, problematic for some people. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm not I don't suffer from LFC, but... I, my eyes do get annoyed by it a lot. And my eyes are getting annoyed from it. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly just trying to focus on Rayman, not on the, well, <laughs> the radioactive Kool-Aid. Yeah, I, I feel like if I was to see that happen in any game I played, I would wonder if there's something wrong with the game or, or the game is about to break my PC. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hearing help noises, but is that from a, a cage somewhere or not? It sounds like from a cage. Hmm. Uh, also person? something that... You know, with Rayman uh, 2, we, we agreed that it is most... It is very consistent with itself in that, but... Uh, one thing that I have to question here is... Uh, how do the doctors even know about black lumps and how to treat them if they were a new thing? And there's the noise coming from, from that barred window. Yeah. I... I... I feel like the one that made Raymond 2 want to consistently for the one that it... Still for enjoyable kids, but also be taken a bit more seriously at the same time. Yeah. Like a... like some adventure stories. Uh, here? Yeah, it, it lacks internal consistency, I'd say. Yeah, it, it, it went from a serious cartoon adventure to more... Slapstick. Uh, uh, what? Hey, Big Nose! If you want to cross the desert, you need to use the tunnels. But it won't be easy. The tunnels are swarming with Canarin, and those beasts are invincible. Yeah, well, you got a better idea? You bet your bet I'm dollar I do. Okay, listen closely, Big Nose. Do not let the Canarin get near you. You understand? Never! If they get their claws on you, you're dead. Well, it was a nice knowing ya! Okay, it, yeah. I think it, looked, it lined up a bit better there than the last time we had uh, something like that. Yeah, but yeah, uh, do you see slapstick? Yeah. Yeah, I would say slapstick and loony. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to. It, in a way, they almost lean. They try almost to bring. What the? These are the Canarin. And, yeah, we can't actually harm them at all, so we do have to freaking run away from them. Brain. Fresh brain. Make him right bad, Jax. Wait, what? And now this game turns into a semi-stealth game. This part almost feel like it's trying to bring back what we saw from Rayman 2 in the in dark seriousness. Yep. Even with Bob. Even with dumb lines mixed in with, like, make him write bad checks. But that was probably to uh, avoid... Uh, that was probably to avoid <laughs> an age... Uh, a markup in the age rating. Okay. 
Uh, ah, there we go. We need to hit those gongs to get them to go somewhere. And hello. Are you going to be helpful or are you just going to run off? You. There we go. Wait. You. Yeah, give Grandpa his sponge bad bath. Oh. I thought he said he was going to get a sponge bath. Nope. Okay, then I get. Uh, then I yeah, I agree with it. You. You. Okay, we weren't fast enough there. But, yeah, you can see what we need to do. We need to lure that one away with the gong. And, yeah, just an example. Get him. Completely unharmed. Okay, I thought that the window was there. Where is the window? There. There we go. Okay, now we just have to rush back up. Brain. Fresh brain. And we should have just enough time to get past him. Brain. Literally just enough. <laughs> we still get hit. And... The return of Raid Turtle. Hello. Eggs. Eggs. Oh, you lot again. Okay, uh, how do we set this down? Okay, with A button, with the A button. I don't think we've ever gotten an explanation, a tutorial on how to pick up and put stuff down or something. Okay, if they hit us, we the brag breaks as well. Yo, come on. Get lost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need... I'm pretty sure we need to... Can I put it down? We need to weigh down this uh, pedestal with the egg here. There we go. And... Okay, we've got this. For a moment I thought was to, I was going to say that was just for gems, but no. We actually need this one, I think. Yep, because there's a Canarin, or Canarin, and a rock, a gong that is just within reach. Little grasshopper, one must never let the Canarins okay. get near you. Capish? Never. Okay, I have no idea what the hell happened there. We got, uh... This, we got the sound as if we were just, we just picked up a, a thing for the first time, but... And, well, random Mr. Teeny Magazaki or whatever the Karate Kid Master with his name was again. <laughs> yes, Fuck what? off you. The... Okay. Hmm. I, again, I still love the music. And I do love their stay, but... Yeah, the, the tracks are more than obviously showing. Yeah, I, I feel like the storytelling... ...and consistency took a big backseat here. But I'm glad there's voice acting... I... Again, hit and miss. Yeah, we, we found this out last time, but uh, the creator of Rayman was actually not fully involved in the creation of this game. And more in an advisory role. So that yeah. explains a lot of the big differences. Yeah, and they... Had this been a Rayman spin-off? Uh, 
there. Oh, we have more of those little guys here. Okay, the camera went a bit weird there. Uh, right, oh, no, uh, the, I thought those were the, the hags minions. Uh, let's see. What was I to say? Oh, right. Uh, had this been just a spin-off game, I would not probably uh, mind it as much, but being a Rayman, f actual Rayman 3, I feel like they kind of did Rayman a disservice with this one without having the original creator fully on board. Maybe, yeah. Uh, and... Okay, I'm guessing the yeah the the Canarin are teensy hunters. It seems or teensy predators. Now let's see. All right, I think I'm, we need to lure someone on top of that. Yeah, and that makes the, the that makes the platforms move. And what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Apparently, one of the Canarin is feeling useful. Come on, come on. Spit in his eye. Okay, Wait, I didn't what? actually expect him to go after us. At least he failed. Yeah. Okay. Are these supposed to be hands or teeth? I think they're supposed to be claws. Wait, is that a... Is it a turtle or vulture hybrid? I think it's supposed to be a vulture of sorts. That or a, a chubby chozo. Yes, yeah, for me it looks like a mix between a vulture and a turtle. Especially yeah. with that, you're standing on now. Trying to be entertaining now, are we, guys? Yeah, do you see where he's at? He looks like he has a shell on his back. <laughs> okay, that's that area. Seven <laughs> percent. I feel called out. I feel called out. <laughs> okay, this bit here. I haven't even need a cough syrup, luckily enough, but on. still. Okay, let's try that jump again. Uh, yeah, now we have a bunch of Canarin to dodge, instead of just a few. Hmm. Gee. Yeah, come on, game. There we go, and... There, yeah, just barely managed to grab it. Okay. Don't want to fall back down because then we're going to get chased around by them again. Oh, that's where we need to be. Okay, rid of health. I mean, don't you feel guilty about hanging out on a guy when he's all alone? No. Why? Do you? No, 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 of course not. What was I thinking? Okay, at least one of them has uh, <laughs> doubt. Let's see, what is over this way? Potential ally? Hmm. <laughs> but, okay. Wait, oh, freaking on that chickens again. 
I didn't expect... I, I thought that we would end up in a bottomless pit there and respawn it. Oh, hello. Well, this feels familiar. There was one bit early on in Rayman 2 where we had to dodge barrels and now we just have to dodge falling rocks. <laughs> and that puts us... Where exactly? Okay, down here. Oh, so that was all just the way to get back up here. Okay, so we need to go the other way. Hmm. All right, then. Then down here. We'll have to find a way to dodge him. That was easy enough. Wait, what? Let him run, meet better soft? Apparently, yeah. Okay. Ah, I see. We grab the blue can here. We're... I know all of these upgrades have a specific name each, but I keep for I forget them. They're probably in the manual. But I know at the very least that the the red one is called the heavy metal fist, I believe. Brain. Fresh brain. Let's not fall down. There we go. I can hear some more teensies nearby. Very nearby. Not there. Are they underneath us here? Sounds like it. Hmm. What? Very close, at least. Uh, there you are. Okay, just points. What? You tickle his hamster. <laughs> Gee. Now, what way do we need to go? Uh, Hilly, you do understand some most of the case I see what is out of confusion. Out of surprise. Yeah, conf surprise and confusion. And interrupted something there with the Okay. Never that was that. Dads? Yeah. I, I think he meant not two dads for one person, but they're one dad each or so. But it... Okay, what is that mural supposed to be? Like, Knarren hanging teensies up to dry or something? Uh, let's, let's take a closer look if we can. Or is that supposed to be... Yeah, I think that's supposed to be captured. Oh, captured teensies and... Okay, come on, you're just cheating now. We're just going straight to the freaking wall. Okay. I don't want to have to go all the way back down this thing again. There we go. Okay, they're carrying the teeth, it's like cocked deer. Yeah. So yeah, they are teensy eaters. Yeah, that explains all the more why uh, those two at the start were absolutely terrified. Okay, this time without. It's... It does sound like they are teensies are not the only ones on the menu. Yeah, they'll just eat whatever they can catch. Yep, 
Come on. Go, another extension. And more they points. Regalvanize the tires? Apparently. Can we even reach that? There we go. Probably more points. Yep, no need for that. Okay. Lord, uh, again, the old game was a bit dark, but it did still have humor in Fair Deuces, but here it's... It feels all disconnected. Started... Yeah, like they're trying to run in as much comedy as possible. Hey, are you going to the gong party on Saturday? I'd love to, but I doubt my dad will let me go out. He's been in a bad mood lately. Not hearing a continuation, so let's move on. Yep. Well. Uh, well, yeah. Um. There we go. Okay, yeah, that, that was plenty obvious with uh, the cracked flooring. Freaking... Yeah, the zombie chickens are going to be annoying in every game that they appear in, aren't they? I'm not be surprised. Here? I can accept that you have a game can have some annoying enemies, but it depends also how annoying. Phew. Like mildly annoying is fine, but when they go so annoying that it just turns out pure frustration. Yeah, not okay. Okay, what's the deal here? Okay, we can climb out here. Ah, there's... There we go. Yeah. I hope at least we're not going to be pestered by those chickens again here. But they have been pestering us on every other yeah, carry bit. Apparently they're giving us a break. Because of that, apparently. Okay. So, did, did we just accidentally stumble down the correct paths? Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. I'm looking for signs on which parts might fall away or not. Tell me your story. What was your favorite Never with the Night character's name again? Uh, Nishka, the, the tiefling. That, that one's going to fall. Oh, Nishka. Okay, now I remember her. <laughs> I liked her character, but she every time through to do some decision, she went against me. She even yeah. betrayed me at the final boss, and joined the, the evil side. And I did not like to have to kill her, but... Apparently she disliked me so much that she joined them. Yeah, let's see. And she hadn't even shown signs of disliking me that much. What is with... Oh, that's with the music. More Knarren. Or Knarren, or how are you supposed to pronounce it? Yeah. It is uh, K-N-A... Was... Oh dear. And then A-R-E-N. Yeah. In oh, general, dear. I believe she is a very light character, but there are some characters with you that will turn against you if their you know, if their loyalty is too low. I believe. Yeah. 
I also I found the, the in some games I don't mind loyalty systems and such, such but sometimes they can be way overly harsh and it almost makes it impossible to make a sort of decent agreeable team. Like it kind of becomes a struggle. A rat. <laughs> okay. And down we go again. Oh, so down we go again. I, Come on. Yeah, the reason I asked was because I my mind tried oh, to trick me to say you said you had said Minsk. Which would have surprised me if Minsk appeared in both in Never with the Nice 2 for his from Border Skate series. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Arena, really? Yep. Rayman, over here! Silence! Rayman, you! That's my friend out there. I said silence! Get him, Rayman! Make him eat his hood! Won't you shut up, you stupid toad? Now, Reflux is my champion, and no Canarin has ever defeated him! Do you really believe that a limbless little runt has a chance against him? No, but really, I'm sure your friend will shine in the arena when Reflux is burning his corpse! Let the combat begin! Uh, lip sync off again. The Really, the <laughs> their king needs two be booster seats. And yeah, boss fight against Reflux the Canarin. Seems to be a bit of a battle mage. Yep. And this track I like as well. Yeah, I think it's quite nice. If we get too close, he'll whack us away again. And then there's this I... spell. Oh dear. I think I can see it identify one of the instruments. No? Just, I, I don't know its name, but it's used uh, in uh, Australia. Yeah, it, it has a, an out-back uh, feel to it. And yeah, I, those, the pretty sure part of it is throat singing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's also one of those huge pipes they blow in. Did we do? Is that what they called? I think. There we go. With this one, we just have to keep running. He he won't catch up with us. We actually we were actually <laughs> gaining distance. I wouldn't be surprised that there's that instrument and throat singing. Could be. Okay, we just gotta keep attacking the staff whenever we get an opening. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure he will evolve his attacks in time. Like this. And then he's open again. Okay, doing well. I think we're about at the same level with health, and, but we can collect more from below. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, come on, give up with that. There we go. And yeah, we can't hide under the... <laughs> We can't hide for too long because then fireballs would come chasing after us. <laughs> Go. And now he's casting Meteor Shower. Gotta say, this is this is a Cool ass fight. Yeah, probably the best boss fight so far. Yep. Even if Green Flux's face looks free <laughs> looks weird as all hell when it's lit up like that, but it could be part of his magic. Oh, I thought he was retreating for an attack. It's the waves again. Which are a lot faster now. out another one and the third <laughs> nice catch and here we go with the shower again we saw should... his closer broke off Let's grab some health because we're low. Let's grab that as well. Ow. At least we don't lose double health when we get that. Okay, one or two more rounds, and I think we're done. So far, I like this level, for this level reminds me slightly more of Rayman 2, in a bit more dark theme. Come on, come on. Okay, we need health quick. There's no health there. Oh, crap. Yep. Just need to get one more. Once he's done with this spell, we can finish him. Come on, lock on. No, one more. You uh, would have had him if you didn't stop missing due to the target lock on failing you. Just, yeah, no. you see yourself with his no. health. Okay, we have enough health to finish him. Up. I say that. Wait, are we losing extra double health whenever he does? Whenever we get hit like that? Andre being good for something. Back in this room. Hmm. Even if this is Rayman, you fought heroically in the arena, even though it kills me to have to say it. Reflux has never known the taste of defeat. Shut up, you idiot. I'm the king. Yes, Majesty. As a reward, you shall receive the power of a leptus. <gasps> oh, leptus. Oh, father of the canarin people. Give to this mighty, mighty warrior the greatest of power.
Low box. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by the fault uh, jokes. Yeah, I think he 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 got sick and passed out there, nauseated. And I think we were losing double health whenever we got hit with the power up. And yeah, this one is actually not fleeing away from us. And there's a reason for that, if I can find the correct button. There we go. We... Yep, by pulling a stupid face, we can make the black lums laugh and turn them back into red lums. It's well, it helps heal. What the heck? It also means that uh, once Andre is out, uh, we can get rid of him. Okay. Still need to get to the doctor, though. And uh, looking at time... Hmm. There's one of the elites coming in. I don't know how... We are in the later half of the game at the very least, but I don't think we'll be able to finish it in the time we have left. Freaking... As much as I like their te theme, they are annoying. So why don't you go that hoodoo somewhere else? that. We do have quite a big health bar now, huh? My hoodlums are not far. They'll split you open and see what color you are on the inside. I think you already know that from experience, Andre. Nope. Oh, big boys. Yep, bombers even. Okay, at least we don't need to charge the shots for these. They are aggressive. Okay. Here we go, give me your health. Come on, get in range of me so I can lock on. There we go. And then we just open fire. So it's just not a wonder if they stolen wreckage of the robot pirates are just make scrap rippers what they could fi find. Possibly both. So, that does raise the question, where the hell is Polokus? Did he go back to sleep? Probably that. Yeah, probably. For, you, you, you would expect him to maybe still be awake and around if something happened again like this. So, Ant eater? Yep. Train his ant eater. Yep, potty train his ant eater to be specific. That's terrifying. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know if I said it before, people, but if you see a ant eater do a T pose, don't approach it. Yeah, that's it, probably trying to be intimidating. It actually gives you a mood to back off. For yeah. people have ignored that bit and had the uh, gut spill out from one swoop of the claws. For they are stronger than they look. Yeah. And they have killed people. Not for food. They just killed them for the humans ignore its warning. I think it might just be better to just run around and attack when we the the game locks on instead of locking on specifically or at least it, it, that seems to work better in bigger fights oh. though with these ones that won't work hmm. come 
hear you. Right, come on. Lock on. There we go. As simplistic as the combat was in Rayman 2, I think I would still prefer it over this. Like it is it is more interesting to have to curve your attacks around some enemies and such. But I think they just take a few too many hits. But then again, some of the robots also took quite some hits, even charged ones. Yeah, but you didn't meet a horde of robots. Yeah. Oop. Like, e each robot felt like a special fight, basically. <laughs> Here they are throwing several at you at once. Yeah. Okay, I think we can just get rid of... Yeah, if we just grab on and electrocute you by continuing to press the button. Or at least it was working but for a bit. <laughs> also, what the... <laughs> What's that? Mr. Two is being around so much. Yeah. Yep. And we drove him into the fire. Yeah, that would also work with all the cloth they make their stuff out of. Holy. Hey, Rain Man, I didn't know you had a twin. <laughs> Okay, we should be close to the doctor. And then we should be getting into the last quarter of the game. I think. I don't remember how much specifically how much Oh, we we're already here. I don't remember how much distance there is between this and the fine and the end game. But I do remember this, yeah. Yeah, we get to play whack-a-mole with the hoodlums. I kinda wonder, uh, how would you react if you actually, by accident, finished the game today? Uh, it would be a part uh, disappointment and part relief. Anyways, doctor number three. Get, get in here. <laughs> okay, just get in here. What the... Oh, Gromak-san. A very tense. Rockery. I know how to drive out a negative energy. Kili 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 Oh, yeah? Let's see about that. Atto! I'm thinking your other Romeo. stuff. Could you please hurry up? Group therapy? Groovy. Mm. I totally mm. dig those. <laughs> wow. Ready? Just, that's a thermometer. I thought it was to do acupuncture with it. No, oh, don't let him get away! Dude, like the lava is so fast. If he finds the energy to multiply, all is lost. Exactly. Now, come on, the accent is a bit too much. Yeah, I, I feel like if I have to relate this, they. Probably would change the voice acting a little bit. Yeah. That was a bit too offensive. Yeah. Like, I don't and mind them to use accent, but.
Reflux! I know that you dream of getting revenge against Rayman, and I need energy to multiply. Steal the scepter from your king, and I will serve you Rayman's head on a platter! <laughs> Okay. We Hoot and Andre have joined forces and have stolen the scepter from Gumzi, the child king of the Knarren. Like they're going to invoke the Leptis and gain unimaginable powers, dude. Ah, this door leads to a shortcut that will allow you to catch up with them. Now hurry. Again, I like the accents the done well and all. the world needs saving nobody's around good thing we are as if we had time for this hmm, this looks like a magic door if i find the right oh doesn't shut up okay i don't say i don't mind accents especially when it's done well for it can be very charming and all but these three they're a bit much it's hammered in a bit oh, come too the fuck hard on. Uh, yeah i was it it's hammering a bit too hard no. Uh, well, I guess that settles that we're probably not going to finish it this stream. Because I get the feeling we're probably going to be stuck on this for another 20 fucking minutes. But there you are, motherfucker. Uh, I've never wanted to murder a shoe as much as in this game. Uh, hey, Dan, what's on your feet at the moment? Slippers. Oh, alright. That's good. They use shoes or save. Get back here, you. Like this is, I get this is supposed to be fun, but the controls just completely ruin it. And where did it go? It, it did a 180. Yeah, it feel like I had a, a one idea and did not. Properly plan it out, but I'll adjust it. Like you would feel like some places will complain about this. Yeah. This thing is a harder boss fight than freaking reflux. And uh, yeah, what? Uh, damn it! Oh, for love of one thing that also subtracts from this game in its quality a bit is it feels too gamey. In, well, how the hell did the doctors know that Andre went to reflux? Yeah, it, it, actually, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I think that's the, the biggest problem. It feels way too gamey. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like a, a a real world would be a bit of an overstatement, but uh, yeah, Rayman 2's world felt cohesive, it, like it it had existed already for a long ass time. With, with Rayman 3, yeah, black lumps appear and everyone already suddenly knows about them and how to attempt freaking cures for swallowing one, even though we don't know how long they actually existed. Cause actually, probably not long, or I know for a fact they didn't exist long. Yeah, I won't give spoilers, but... If the if black lumps had been around a long time already, they would have turned every single red lump in existence uh, already into another black lump. Yeah. Well, oh, no, what the heck created them? Come the. F they really should have. If they are going to keep this in, increase the bloody hitbox as well. Or do something that's face and you're like like shooting? Like yeah. maybe use use Rayman's hands to punch it. Yeah, I, I get the feeling this was part uh, added in to have his feet do something it's wacky as well, but this isn't wacky, this is annoying. There we go. Back here, you. Oh, <laughs> near miss. 
There we go. Yeah, with Rayman 2, I, gla I gladly would have continued uh, playing even after the stream would have ended. But with this one, I just want it to be done with. Yeah. I don't think good about Rayman 2. It was that team into your surprise. There was a little blue or... Where is... There it is. Here it's... Yeah, it, it, it's just gamey. It, in a bad way, kinda. Yeah, in a way that pulls you out of the game. Yep. Out of the immersion, as much as you could get immersed in a wacky world like this, but still. Yeah, like, I don't care if I'm in, in third or first person mode in a game. Prefer third person, but I do look, like it with some immersion, but when it's like this... I don't know, it just, it just puts me off. Okay. The music is still decent, but it doesn't make up for everything else that frustrates with this. There we go. Oh, and there we there we go. Okay, give me that. Take too long. Yeah. But it feels like a bloody eternity still. Yeah, I mean, I mean we had some advantage due to how small this room was compared to the others. And it was less and complicated, and there were more places for the shoe to get stuck on as well. Yeah, so I think we drove a little bit lucky on this one, but still, yeah. it might be the worst thing they added to the game. To else, to oh. oh, we need to collect all of the crowns for that? Okay. And I, I guess this Wait, is where what? the team sees store their bloody crowns then. Okay, here's some. Come on. Like I, I still I still like Rayman and everything, but yeah, I can see how this game would have put a quite a damper on the on the yeah fans enthusiasm and okay Robin now notice there's no... the second bar that was it's the there was no Rayman 4 yeah uh, but they were still planning to do one yeah sure you did it Glowbox <laughs> I like, I like glue box in the Rayman 2 more. And I, I think this is actually supposed to have take place in the dimension just on the border of the Hall of Doors for whenever the Teensy Kings would let us, uh, uh, would let us enter the next area. And I'm guessing that mostly from how this outside there looked. What? Oh dear. We're not there yet? Is this what those doctors call a shortcut? Oh, oh, oh. Good it's... thing I know how to open the door now. Yeah, we're going to need to collect even more crowns. Hmm. We are, I believe we are close to the end of the game. And it's, oh, that's a reflective floor, or is it? Yes, it is, okay. Just a bit lower than I expected it to be. Okay, uh, what is actually moving with that? I can hear something closing, but I can't see it. I see uh, an area with crowns. That you probably yeah. need more with crowns. You always probably need. Yeah, I, I get the feeling whatever is closing is upstairs. Like that there. So, come on. Yeah. Oh, oh no, each of these closes in order. Okay. Alright. Then we can just go... 
Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go up and down quite a few times then. Did... Yeah, this feels like filler. The nostalgia uh, feel is disappearing quite rapidly, ain't it? Yeah, I'm starting to lose patience with this game, but it should be... We are close to the end game, I'm pretty sure. It's another door closing. Or yeah, the first door closing. Come on. It is Things not a funny voice acting. Again, hit and miss, however. The also is nice, but yeah, the hit and miss comedy and the wool. Just too gamey feel? Definitely hard. And it is definitely. <laughs> the story took a damn hit. Yeah, plus the missing characters like Clark and Lee. Yeah, it, it it feels undercooked. Like this game could have been a lot better than it than it has been. Yeah, in a way, it might be good they did not bring the other older characters since they might have butchered Let's them. Yeah, since they already butchered you know who, who's waiting for you. What the heck happened there? <laughs> okay, start that again. Like, I understand that he was a coward in the other game, but they seem to tune that up way more to make him just not a coward, but also kind of annoying. I think we're going to be just too late on this bit. The fuck? What happened? That's so the second close. time that happened. Okay, yeah, I see you could have made it there if you had some reason lost grip. I don't know what just happened there. I think it might be the game having a bit of an issue with hanging on to things as they are moving or something. Yeah, probably. Uh. Like, it feels like they. Uh, yeah, I think I agree with you with the term undercooked. Like,. They didn't do things proper. Okay, come on. There's also the annoying thing that these things are out of... Well, we got past it, at least. The platforms are out of sync. So there's no pattern to it. Oh, you've got... Invisible platforms. Is the game seriously breaking now? I don't think this one is supposed. I don't think that supposed one is supposed to be visible, because the mirrors and all that. Oh, all right, that that's good. Otherwise, I would be worried. Okay, but I get the feeling they're doing this, uh, they're doing the interesting bits here because we're getting to the end of the game and they want to try and put in some interesting things still. And if I remember correctly, let me actually see. Yeah, this level is called the longest shortcut. <laughs> oh, you there. Yeah, I am. Um... Like, I, I don't mind they do something that is impressive a lot, but... Are they over-focusing a little bit too much on all that thing? Trying to show what Maybe. cool stuff they can do? Like, just too much? Um, maybe. Now, let's see. Yep, here's the platform. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see how... Here we go. We'll have to... S I'll have to take a wild guess as to how far or not we are from the end of the game. But there we go. Because... Yeah, we're, I, I, I get the feeling we're going to end up with a short stream next time on this. Okay, 
Okay, is there anything more here? Or actually, there is on the mirror. There we go. And that's all of the crowns. If you're lucky, we might be able to finish it. Yeah, this is the no, now it became a smiley face instead of a frown. And hello. Okay. But yeah, I have no idea how close we are to the final boss or not. And uh, yeah, the final boss is going to be annoying as well. You'll see when we get to uh, them, though. Like another job for me. And again, gotta find the bloody crowns. It's, yeah, oh, they, they, this is filler. And filler, when it, there's filler in a game, it just says you enough. It tells you enough about uh, how much effort has been put, or how much effort slash time has been really put into a game. Yeah, I feel that the team didn't really have too much of an idea of a story. And I didn't... W I think you were almost breaking the map again there. Yeah. I just had to fill in it with a lot of fillers just to hide that they didn't really have a story to begin with. Water going wacky again. Well, the, the story is... The story is a bit different. It's in, Typically in uh, games you have to go chase after a villain or something, but in this game it, the whole the whole problem is that you have the, the villain right there with you. You just need to get flipping rid of him. Yep, and now we escaped. Okay, come on. Just in time. Again. Okay. What have we here? It's been a bit since we've seen these platforms. Come on. Okay. More crowns get. And okay, that opens up a shortcut. That is good design. And in, in general, I have to say that this place is pretty. Oh, yeah. I so mean, not to criticize them for making an ugly game, but the, the, the game is pretty. Oh, here we go with this again. Yeah, even if this is filler, they did put time into the aesthetics of it. Yep. They put me just feel like it's probably best just to finish it tonight if possible yeah we we will just have to see how close we are to the final boss with andre and reflux hmm. and as you said the boss was to be a pain it makes me worry like but did we go over time with the last rainman game mm. and i think we managed to finish it in time Oh, yeah! And one last freaking timer. Just back and forth, back and forth. There we go. There's only a few crowns left. Yeah, we could do with the forced fall damage. Or without the forced fall damage. Oh. Okay, one, the two lower paintings there were up about the Hall of Doors, I think. They were teensies with a bunch of keys. Okay. There. Those should be the last ones. Also, why the hell is it crowns that are the key here? Uh, 
Is the currency? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, you sure about the alien? Is this the bloody last one, or is there still more to go? Hey, who's the king of the doors? Me. Hey, Rayman, good thing I was here to open the doors for you, huh? Oh, no, 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 no need to thank me. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, Golux Globox is getting annoying now. Yeah, yes. they did him a disservice, and I'm glad they did not do that. Oh. Work with the others. I think we are at the final boss already. If this is what I remember it being. Yep. You're too late. Reflux and Andre are already here. Uh, like, uh, if they succeed in, like, uh, evoking a lap test, uh, like, the whole world will, like, uh, come in smoke, dude. Ah, what are you balancing? This board and go after them. Yeah, that, that needed more audio balancing on there. They were a bit too soft there. They were getting drowned up by the wood creaking. Yeah, I think this is going to be the boss fights. In a way, good riddance. So, are we allow us to do it a bit over time? Yeah. Uh, we are at least close to it. Oh, good. What is with the fish? That's not supposed to be the boss fight. I the hell? Out front. Yeah, the boat is being attacked by something. I do not remember this at all, because this is just plain random. At the back again. And yeah, that's actually dealing damage to our health bar. Okay. This one. We got it early there. Oh, did I see it? Wait, wait are those are those the hoodlum ships? Like the the small one that was with the octopus boss? Or the Mac Mac Octopus? Yeah. I, I think they might be. Okay, at the very least we have a lot of health with uh, this. Okay. I mean, they are, but they were sh it's not that they were shooting, shooting back. Yeah, they're firing cannonballs at us. So they are not fishes. Nope. They're a bit hard to see. Again at the back. There's a bunch of them now. Come on, get out of that. I can't actually identify them in the water like that. Hello, box. Yeah, the damage is starting to pile up now, especially from the ones at the back. Yo, oh, come on, that one's attacking us even before it's on the bloody radar. At least we are making progress. Oh, we're already there, it seems. I think. I wasn't actually paying attention to the lower bar there. Uh... That's a bit of a low effort area here. Don't tell me we have to go through another area just to get to them. Okay, if this is a new area, we are ending the stream here. Yeah. 
we yeah we are not getting to the end of the game with this. Uh oh. Uh, yep, yep, come on, that one is <laughs> that one is hovering above everything. Okay. Uh, yeah. Quit Rayman Three. Go here. And let's go find someone to raid. Like, yeah, I'm getting more and more that, that this uh, this my nostalgia for this game has definitely been tinted with uh, rose-colored glasses. That probably actually that shouldn't flashbang you. There we go. No, it was more like you went to a screen without you and okay. a non-working version of myself. <laughs> Okay. So it was not flashing me with white. Yeah, yeah, that was because the browser was opening up on the same screen as OBS, and we've, all, we've already seen that that screws with OBS for some reason now. <clears throat> Pardon. Now then, let's see. Some people to raid, possibly. Uh, we, uh, we're, we've been talking about Baldur's Gate, and apparent Varia XLP is streaming uh, the enhanced edition of, num of the second uh, Baldur's Gate, it seems. Yeah, but we were talking about Never the Nights, but I did thought you said Mansion Academy for Baldur's Gate, Minsk. Uh, you know, bald guy yeah. and... He also shows up in Giants. Neverwinter. Wait, he does? Uh, in the uh, MMO. Oh. Uh, yeah. Does he still have that damn hamster? Uh, yep, he does. Now, let's giant, see. Mi miniature giant base. Hamster. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so dear. yeah, we have Varia XLP streaming Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. We have two people streaming Barrow Trauma, Mangled Pork, and Fuzzy Freaks. And then someone is Ed Edwards is streaming XCOM 2. And okay, Halloween uh, 4545 is streaming Dino Crisis. That is a good one. Okay, so shall we raid them? I say we raid them. Okay, and you decide. I would, I would li then. like to us to see if we could stream Dino Crisis, but uh, yeah, we'd probably we'll get be stuck. Emulator effort. Wait, what? Yeah, we'd probably get stuck as well. <laughs> okay. They are not that hard games. At least not the second one, at least. Okay. Uh, well, for now, uh, yeah, we are. We should be able to finish this up next time. Um, yeah, then we can move on to the next game that we have lined up. No one lives forever. Uh, uh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> uh, again, yeah, definitely tainted my yeah uh, nostalgia with that. And hello, big trucker. <laughs> have you been lurking, or did you just show up? <laughs> If you just show up, uh, I think we're going to need to hug you. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I can't. If you're trying to tell anything with these emotes, I can't figure it out. Uh, let's see. Angry wave uh, in bed and some spawned wizard thing. Did, did you just show up only to get catch the end of this? Yeah, yeah someone needs a hug. Both of you. Waking up confused. Okay, what what the hell is going on then? Just wake up at a completely different time than usual or something? Well, do you have those? You wake up in a dream, then you wake up in another dream, then you wake up in another dream, then you finally wake up and confused, wondering if you're still in dream or not. J.U., what? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. And uh, yeah, I've had one of those stupid fractal dreams that really f it gets you really questioning what the hell is real and not. Yeah, especially when you wake up in each time you wake up is a different location. Let's see. Went to sleep after Beanie's stream, which was about eight hours ago, I think. Or at least it, that ended about eight hours back or some. Uh, so yeah, you you slept for about eight hours then. 
<laughs> maybe maybe it's a syndrome of oversleeping. Maybe. Uh, what the heck was that? Uh, apparently, I forgot to close off uh, the other uh, browser that I had still. So yeah, that, that's been that's been in standby on in the background the entire time. It didn't affect the stream, it seems, because yeah, only zero point two percent of frames lost due to rendering lag. Like, that's good. And uh, given I don't have much time to sleep on weekdays. Okay, well, I hope what uh, little sleep you did get uh, still worked out. For now, though, uh, let's see, bring up the chatty program so I can check for bots after we're done here. Because I, I, I keep getting freaking, I keep, uh, nearly every stream I keep finding one new bot or something. But, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, then. Uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Big Trucker, for showing up. Uh, as <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy the guy we'll be raiding. And uh, thank you as always, Dirk, here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, yeah. Uh, I hope things will be going well for you, Trucker. And, uh, yeah, see you and anyone else uh, next time then. But until then, have a nice day. And until then. And watch out for honey badgers. <laughs> and black lambs. Probably. <laughs>